Well, I think the core architecture for Intel and all their different product areas is pretty well set in stone for the next few years. So I don't think they need to do anything drastic to keep the business going as it is. And it's been pretty profitable. They announced a better quarter and that was pretty constructive. So, you know, we're pretty happy with what the stock is doing. Looking forward, you do, you have a number of different business models now or, or, or business areas and they need to have a leader that really recognizes where to allocate capital among those businesses. Uh, certainly, uh, Swan is a reputable guy. He's had a lot of high-powered jobs at other companies. So if he ever takes the tag from interim to full CEO, I don't think the market would blink. Certainly, the news out of Intel outside of the CEO change was extremely positive. So we'll see how the market reacts to it. Um, Intel does have a chief operating officer now who was CFO. Um, th that, I imagine, is going to be an important place uh, to look. But, but also, uh, my mind goes to Renee James, who actually came in with Brian Krasanich as president. The two of them pitched the board together uh, during CEO succession. Is there an issue here with why Intel was not able to keep her around because if Renee James were, were still at Intel, something tells me her name would be at the top of the list right now. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because this is a C CEO transition when things are going well at a, com at a company, other than obviously the personal indiscretion. So people who are, are no longer with them may come back. Certainly the last time we saw something like this, it was Hewlett. But when Hewlett went through it, there, things were not good at the company and you had a lot of high-end high talent that people wanted to get the job, like Kathy Lejak, that didn't. And I think we've seen Hewlett suffer from the fact that they didn't have a good leadership succession you know, in place. So I think they need to look inward, and I think they need to kind of make sure that the street knows that it is business as usual at Intel. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.